Okay. The, the, the best way, the best way to, to really evaluate an audience, just like mm -hmm. you're saying is to, is mm -hmm. to, is to ask questions is to, is to get them to answer a handful of questions to pre-qualify them, to see if they're even, to see if they're, if they're, if they're even a fit for what you're doing or to see if they're even an audience where you can sell them a specific service or product. And so a, a good way to do it is to, is to survey them. And with Google, I don't know if you've ever used Google surveys, but no. this is free and this is powerful because all you got to do is end up sending that person. Let's say, for example, you send them, you send them, let's say they opt in, let's say they opt into your landing page. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. come to your landing page, they opt in and they become a lead. An email goes out with their free download. That's what they're going to get right away. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. another email can go out, and that's when you're explaining, are you joining us? And maybe after that, another email goes out, and that starts talking about your other services and how excited you are to work with them. After that, okay. another email goes out, and mm -hmm. in that email, there's a link to your Google survey. So that email goes out, hey Dave, this is Christy. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my ebook a few days ago. We have so many, so many members that are joining our course and we're very, very excited. I wanted to see if you would be a good fit to work with us as well. Based on what you're but based on your interest and based on the fact that you got this far, there's a handful of questions that I'd love to ask you to see if we'd make a perfect match. Click the link in the email. It will take you over to a quick survey where you can answer a handful of questions to really see if we make a, make a good match. Click here. And so that's an automated email that would go out three days later, for example. They click on the link and it takes them straight to a Google survey. And that survey can be set up very easily in Google. So all you do is you come over to Google, make sure you're logged into your email, whatever email you're going to be using, log in and you're going to click these dots right here and you're, you're going to come down to drive. And this is going to take you to the surveys where you'll now have a link and you can send it to them. You can create any question you want. You can create the answers to the questions. So over here, I can come in here and I can go, I can go to my drive and I actually have a survey in here. Where did it go? It, How do you create a survey? I'm, I'm showing you right now. I'm showing you right now. Mm -hmm. So you come in here and you're going to click on new mm -hmm. and we're going to come down here to Google. Let's go to Google. Um, where did it go? It is Google forms. So we're going to click on new and we're going to click on more and we're going to go to google forms right here and i can go from a template or i can go from from a blank form but let's look at the template so it's google forms is what is what i'm saying google form is what it's called and it's a survey so i can set up now i can look at these different templates and let's say i want to go with um any template i can go with find a time contact information um event registration let's go with let's go with let's go with rsvp let's just go with this one I can change the image at the top. I can change the color to match my branding. And here it is here. So event RSVP, there could be the address. I can change out this image, um, but here, here is where it starts. So look, I can click on that. What is your speaking experience? Oh, okay. What is your speaking experience? And then down here, I can put, um, I could put one to three months experience, four to nine months experience. I could put whatever the heck I want. Okay. So, okay. so all they're doing is they're, they're looking at the question and then they, boom, they fill in the, they fill in the dot or they, they click the dot. That's multiple choice. Or okay. I can go where they check a box and they check the box one to three months. They check the box or I can set it up where they, they can, um, they can write a short answer. So I've, what is your speaking experience? And please explain. And boom, can they can add, Can you add to this, this? What do can you mean? Can you add I'm, to a line? Can you add more line? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Like here, here goes, what's your experience short answer? And then if I want to duplicate, I can duplicate it. Um, if I want to create, um, let's go. It, there's that one. And then if I want, if I want a short with the short answer, they can write as much as they want. 
like they can write or or i can go paragraph yes. and they can write as much as they want okay okay paragraph okay but this is free and this is powerful this is how you yeah. survey your audience look at event rsv how can i replace that what will go there yeah what what do i all you do is click on it oh okay all you do is click on it now do you know where somebody where they get address for that so that i don't have to use my address yes so here's what you're going to do so after uh -huh. we create it after we create the form then we're going to click on send and now i can get my own link i can shorten it there goes my link to my survey so now i can i can send this to anybody i can put it in in an email and they click on it and boom when they click on it they come straight to my survey and they fill out the form and then right when they fill out the form they click submit and you'll get an email with all the information oh what did, what did you just do again you move for so fast so let's How let's you... go back to the beginning i went to google i went to mm -hmm. google.com i made sure that i was logged into my email Okay. okay, make sure that I'm logged in my email and then I click on these dots right here and I come yeah. down to drive. That's going to bring me to the Google Docs and all the forms. This is all free and, and, and you can create whatever you want and then however many you want. But um, you come in here and you click on new. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to more and I'm going to go to forms. That's what it was. It's a form. It's a Google form. And, and then, and then now I can, I can, I can create from, from the beginning, I can, I can use a template, um, and I can, I can create whatever I want. How did you, how do I change the colors if I want to change the colors? So if I go down to the colors right here is where I want to go from a template. Uh huh. So let's go from the template and let's just look at, let's look at this one right here. So if uh -huh. I pull up that one. So if I just hover over, like if I hover over, let's see, let it, let it load real quick. Customize theme. Oh, okay. And the picture, I can remove it and replace it with a picture. Is that right? Look right here, header image uploaded so okay. i can i can grab any picture i can grab i can change it or i can upload my own picture from okay. my computer but let's say i want to go with let's say i want to go with this one so i change that one um let's go back so i change out the image to that one I could put you on stage, your image, whatever, like all this stuff, font, style, can I can go basic. Can you use a stock photo? Can you, use, can, a stock photo? Can you use a stock photo? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that, that's a stock photo right there. Okay. Got so you. I can, okay. there's many different categories of stock photos. All these are stock photos. Oh, I can upload mine. Or you can upload your own. Okay. Yeah, so these are all like like here's a car like i can i can do whatever <clears throat> i can do whatever like but at the same time it's it's simple like i'm just clicking and then and then just writing my own question putting my own answers if i want to do multiple choice if i want to do a checkbox if i want to do a drop down i have so, a question see where it has the right there where you hold it how do you know where they can get a business address so that I am not using my address when I do this. Oh yeah, you don't want to be using your address at all. Set up a PO box. I have a PO box. Use so, your PO box for everything. Okay, okay, the, okay. And, and your okay. PO box, your PO box, is it an actual? Yeah, wherever it's from. If if it's a if it's a po, if it's an actual post office, if it's an if it's a if it's a FedEx store or a UPS store, or if it's a whatever type of store, and they provide a PO box, whatever. Mm -hmm. What they also can provide you is the actual address. So, for example, 
my po I have a PO box for everything, but if there's some, if there's some places where I need to put a, a, a an actual address, not PO box, mm -hmm. then I, I put the address of my PO box location and they allow you to do that. So for example, I have a PO box at a post office, mm -hmm. the post I office. Do. I do. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so the post office has an address. So my post office is two, three, four, seven, third Avenue. So rather than me putting PO box three, nine, zero on anything, I can also put the physical address. I put two, nine, I put, I'll put the, the address of the, of the post office, two, three, seven, third Avenue unit three, seven, oh, which is my PO box. And they allow you to do that. Just ask them, say, Hey, what's the physical address? Can I use that for my PO box as well? And yeah, for sure, you can use that address so it looks like a real address, but it's your PO box. Okay, you say the real address plus something about box. You put the unit unit something. Yeah. So for example, here's uh -huh. my here's my PO box. Like my PO box, and I put this on everything. But but if again, if there's some places where I don't want to put PO box, then I mm -hmm. can put the address. So for example, my PO box. This is my real PO box. Uh -huh. PO box three six five nine three six five eight nine san diego california that's my real p.o box mm -hmm. but my p.o box is held at an actual post office the address to the post office is 2569 third avenue and what i do is i put in my box number unit 36589 san diego california so when you look at that it just looks like a it just looks like a regular address and that unit number could be a suite. It could be an apartment number. Like it just looks like a, a unit number, but it looks more, it looks a little bit more professional. It looks like a normal address. So what is the unit number? 36589. That's my PO box. Oh, and then you put the zip code. Yeah, I put the zip code. Yeah, I put the right zip code. But what I'm so saying, then you don't put the PO box at all. You just put that two two five six nine Third Avenue, which is the address to where my PO box is, which is the post office. Okay, but you don't put the PO box, or do you still put no, it on top? No, no, that's there are two separate lines. Like it sometimes I'll I'll go with variation number one. Sometimes I'll go with variation number two. Oh, okay. I thought people buy it. I've heard people. Okay. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to get to the post office. This, uh, I am going to get to the post office and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Just, just ask, go to the front person. Just say, Hey, I want to use a physical address. What's the physical address? Because there's some things that I want to put my address on, but I don't want to put PO box. And so I want to be able to put the address and then I'll put the unit number. I'll put that as my PO box. Okay. I'll put that as my box number. Okay. And and yeah, for sure. If it's a post office, yeah, for sure. They'll, I mean, they'll tell you the physical address and all you do is you put, you know, the pound, which is the unit number, but that's your PO box. And when the general public looks at that, they don't know that that's not a home address. They don't know that that's not a office address. They don't know that that's your PO box. Yeah. Right. That is so, absolutely, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do because it's just not going to work. Yeah. Because now when I have my home address, my, oh my God. Oh yeah. No, you got to take that out. Take that, take that out. I don't, I haven't, ha I haven't listed my home address on anything in probably 15 years. Wow. I yeah. put a PO box on everything. You don't want nothing. No, hell, heck no. Like you don't want that ad home address on anything, especially when you start really building a brand on social media and running Facebook ads. Hell no. You're not, that address ain't going on nothing. Your physical so, address. So here's another question I have for you, right? So I have my women's coaching association and but my um my which is just a group, but then I have um chosen path global, right? Which is my co my company that should have been under my name, but I didn't want to use my name for it. So my question is when you look at the ebook, in some places it has women's coaching association. And in some places, um, it has chosen Pack Global. Is mm -hmm. that confusing or what? Heck yeah, it is. Yeah, that's why that's why we spent so much time on our first call. Everything has to be one name. Everything has to be one name. And then even when they get to this survey over here, it needs to be that one name. So at the at the title, 
the headline needs to be women's coaching association. Like, like that one name needs to be on everything. 